My dear brothers and sisters all over the world, I'm Reverend Father Eswa Andre, Clarition Missionary in the Holy Roman Catholic Church. If I'm coming up today, it is because of the ongoing genocide in Southern Cameroon. And the world seems to be comfortable and silent that everything is okay. The division that is happening among the Southern Cameroonians is not a reason for the world to be silent and see innocent civilians being slaughtered every day and night. My spirit cannot be silent. And that is why I am coming out and giving a clarion call for siren Cameroonians of right-mindedness to stand up and stand as a people so that we can fight this demonic regime in Yaoundé. We all know what happened in Paris Peace Conference when the president of Cameroon boldly and loudly said it that the Southern Cameroonians have their identity. In collaboration with France and the Cameroon government, they have been struggling to assimilate the Southern Cameroonians, but it had not worked. He said it loud and clear. It had not worked. It has not worked because of that identity. So even if he's dying tomorrow, President Pobia set the truth. He freed himself. The, the unfortunate thing in all this is that he went further to say they are still doing their best to keep these people under their control. So that they will stay where he and his French government have decided that these people will stay. Meaning that they will keep assimilating, keep imposing all methods to make these people bow down to them so that these people will keep feeling as second class citizens in that nation. That is, that is their desire and their objective. But it will not work because there's one thing I want to tell them today is that the spirit of freedom can never be quenched by anybody. All oh, Southern Cameroonians, we want to feel free in a nation that belongs to us. Southern Cameroon is a nation and is a state that can never be refuted. We are a people. Despite the fact that some Southern Cameroonians are collaborating with the Cameroon government, to kill their own people. Yes, they make themselves the angry fools that the French government have always called us. They have always called us angry fools. Yes, we have many of the angry fools working with them to kill their own people because of selfishness and greed. But deep in their spirit, they know the truth. My dear brothers and sisters, we must stand high and stand tall against this satanic regime that they use all what they want to use with the same language to neutralize, to kill, to neutralize, to kill. More than two to three hundred people have already been killed just because of a parliamentary election. An election that people are fighting hard that they should solve the problem, the root cause of this problem, so that this can take place in a peaceful environment. But they say no because of what? Because of their satanic plan for Southern Cameroons. And they never consulted the Southern Cameroonians when they began all their methods of assimilation. They never consulted any Southern Cameroonian. They consulted nobody except the Southern Cameroonians are, are criminals and are working with them. So this plan, which is a satanic plan to keep the Southern Cameroonians under their control, who not work because the spirit of freedom can never be quenched. And I want to remind my dear brothers and sisters all over the world, Southern Cameroonians, of good mind and love for our people in Southern Cameroon. Either you are Christians or not Christians, we have come to a point where we need to stand as one. Look at our people in their houses today. They have been locked down. They have to stay indoors. Fear of the young men that are fighting for their freedom. Fear of the military that are ready to kill everybody. Look at the military men and women. The young boys and girls that are being slaughtered also. My problem is that with all this, 
People are being killed, whether they are military men or women, or they are young men that are fighting for their freedom. People are being killed. My problem is the soul that are departing from this world prematurely. They desire to live, not to sacrifice their life for some old buffoons and wicked individuals that are sitting in their office drinking coffee and enjoying themselves and sending them to go and die. Why can't also the military not come together and fight and liberate the people of Cameroon? We know the problem. And the problem is clear. The one who keep selling Cameroonians as their eternal slave. But one thing I'm coming out today to tell them, it will not work. It will take many years if you don't bow down. In revolutions like this, it goes bloody when we deal with wicked regimes like the one we have in Yaoundé. Those who are ready to kill everybody to attain their goal. But a revolution like this, when you deal with people who are peaceful like what happened in Nigeria, they will do it peacefully and no blood will drop. But we know the people we are dealing with. Prayers cannot be ignored. We have to pray so that God will raise the right people to stand for the Southern Cameroonians, to stand for all those mamas there in their bushes, the refugees in Nigeria that some of them will never see again. Those who are not IDPs in the Francophone zones, those who are scattered all over the place, we have become nomads. We have become people who have no home just because they want to keep us as slaves. We Southern Cameroonians will stand and stand for the truth. And the truth is that you have to restore our statehood through an organized UN referendum or total independence. The people of Southern Cameroon have to decide what they want. What they want. Not what the French Cameroon wants and the French government in Paris they want. Southern Cameroonians, their quest for freedom is true and real. And it's time for us to rise up as one people. Pray for a God Almighty who sees us as one people. To come and raise people with right mindedness to lead us to the promised land that God gave us. That land was given to us by God. And nobody has a right to take and nobody will ever take. As long as Southern Cameroon exists, as long as Cameroon government continues to use the language of neutralization, of killing, Cameroon will never have peace. Because when your body is sick because of one part, you will never have peace and you will never have joy. The only way out of this, face the truth and solve this problem. Identify the people of Southern Cameroon, accept their identity, not the useless thing you call special status. All the cosmetic methods you are using to solve this problem. The truth is the only thing that will set us free and make Cameroon be what it's supposed to be. But the Southern Cameroon or the French Cameroon, everybody is suffering a lot of pains because of these few individuals that have taken hostage of this nation. They have taken hostage of this nation and they are ready to bring down this nation to zero and to no point, a point of no return. But God has a hand. And God will see us through. Remain blessed. Pray wherever you are. Rise up wherever you are. If you can, form collaborative measures that will help your people and fight for your people and bring these poor people that have been kept in perpetual darkness. They want them to always be hungry so that they always continue to be beggars. No, no, no. Remain blessed and know God is with us. What? Are you as a person doing to assist these people? Where is your voice? Is your voice for the voiceless or is your voice for your stomach? Have a nice day. Lord God Almighty, we need Holy Spirit. Lord God Almighty, we need
Sisters are cheering one another. Holy Spirit, 